Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvar Halacha. And here's a brand new halacha for you, and it's for Wednesday, 27th day of June, 14th of Tammuz. That means we're getting very close to the 17th of Tammuz, the fast day, and that will begin the three weeks, and we're going to do a lot of the special laws that apply during the three weeks now. Interestingly, this happens in a number of years. The 17th of Tammuz is falling on a Shabbos this year. And that's one of the fasts that we don't do on Shabbos, so we push it off to the next day. So we're going to be fasting on Sunday, which is the 18th of Tammuz. Okay, but here are the laws that will go into effect right after Shabbos, and they are. Um, we, we call the period the Bain Hamitzarim, which translates literally as Between the Tragedies. And the more common nickname that everyone calls it is The Three Weeks. So these are some of the laws that apply to us during these three weeks of sadness. Remember, they began with the penetration of the wall that led to the destruction, and the ninth of Av at the end of the three weeks is when the destruction of the temple, both of them, actually happened. So we kick off by saying no weddings are allowed during the three weeks. Engagements, are uh, they are allowed. Uh, the Chazal have this uh, beautiful adage which they call Shemo Yikadmenu Acher, which basically means if you put off your engagement, you might lose your chance to become engaged to that wonderful person. And so they allow engagements during the three weeks until the nine days. In other words, until Rosh Chodesh Av, you're allowed to celebrate an engagement even with a meal. No music, but even with a special meal. Uh, during the nine days, you can still have an engagement, but you're not allowed to celebrate it with a full-fledged meal because you're in the nine days. But but note, you can still have an engagement uh, during the nine days. And you can even serve some refreshments at that engagement party during the nine days, but just not a full-fledged meal. It could be cake and refreshments and things of the sorts. Of course, uh, the engagement should not take place on the actual fast day of the ninth of Av. That is a very tragic day, and that would just be in too much of a clash. But you could hold the engagement anytime during the three weeks. Up to the nine days, you can have it with a full-fledged meal. And during the nine days, you can have it with just regular refreshments. And on the actual ninth day of Av, no. Uh, no engagements should be held just that day. Uh, you Jews generally do not take part in dancing or playing of music throughout the, nine day, uh, throughout the three weeks, I mean, because of the sadness of the time. Um, as far as a cappella music, some allow it because it's not actually music, it's just singing, and singing's allowed. Um, some rabbis prohibit that too because the, the a cappella music that they make today sounds so much like uh, regular music that um, it, it might be a good idea to not listen to that. You can discuss that privately with your rabbi, just letting you know about the situation. Um, if there's a Jew who makes his money playing music, so he shouldn't be playing that music for Jews because Jews shouldn't be listening to music during the three weeks. But if he plays for non-Jews, he's allowed to continue with his work um, of playing music for non-Jews up until the nine days. And then it's best if during the nine days he doesn't play music if he can hopefully get away with not playing music during the sad, sad nine days. Um, on the 17th of Tammuz itself, on the fast day itself, in other words, we say that you should not be playing music at all for anybody if you can manage to do that. Practicing music is um, uh, prohibited um, from the nine days and on. If you have to practice up until the nine days, um, you could discuss that with your rabbi too, but generally we try to play no music. Uh, certainly from Rosh Chodesh Av and on, you should not be practicing your, mu your music. If you feel you have to during the, other, the earlier part of the three weeks, discuss that with your rabbi. Thanks for logging on, and log on again tomorrow for more. Bye-bye.